Here in the UK, we are now in our third lockdown and I can definitely feel myself slipping back into bad habits. Not eating regularly, snacking on unhealthy little treats, not making enough time for cooking, and also a big one is not moving my body enough. But then I realized Pamela Reef decided to release her PAM app, an app designed to take care of your fitness and nutrition. If you don't know who Pamela is, she is an influencer from Germany who focuses on health and fitness. She has over 5 million subscribers here on YouTube and I absolutely love her. I love her workouts. I actually look up to her as a bit of an inspiration and so I was super intrigued to try this app, especially the recipes. She released her app a week ago and so I thought it would be a really fun challenge to test the PAM app following her recipes, her workouts and then share my thoughts with all of you and whether I think the app is worth it or not. We're going to talk about going back to the start of the week, my initial impressions when first getting the app and how I actually got started with it. So the first question I know I definitely had was how much is this app going to cost and I looked into similar apps and I found that the normal price tended to be around £10 a month. The PAM app is actually free to download and it does feature a lot of free recipes, free content. She has definitely mentioned before that she'll forever keep her workouts completely free and accessible for everybody. However, if you do decide to upgrade to the premium version, then you can unlock all her recipes on the app and her blog for either £2.29 a month or you can pay the annual subscription fee for just $21.99. That is definitely affordable. And I forgot to mention, there is a seven day free trial. So a quick little look at what you first see when you open up the app. My first impressions were that it's definitely very easy to navigate around. The layout is great. Branding is super pretty. And so you've got your first page, which is essentially like your homepage, kind of like your main Instagram page or something. This feed just shares a bit of everything. For example, if she's got a new workout video or like popular recipes, stuff like that. Then the bit I'm most interested in, recipes. She's done a really good job with organizing this. I love that you have the ability to filter what recipes you're after. For example, I'm allergic to certain nuts, and so there is a no nuts option, or if you are gluten-free, you can click gluten-free. It just caters to so many dietary requirements. You've got types of meals, breakfast, etc., and also cooking time to fit busier lifestyles. You can also just use the search bar, for example, if you type in chocolate, like you want chocolate. Who doesn't want chocolate? There is chocolate in these recipes. There's chocolate. <clears throat> then you've got our blog page. I haven't really looked into this. I don't think I'll use this feature that much. However, some of the titles I've read, they seem quite motivating. Plus she's just really cute. So yeah, I like that section. Next section is workouts. These are all available on her YouTube already. You've just got the videos loaded up here. And the nice thing about this is that you also have the filter system. For example, I have like no equipment. I can put that as a filter. If you wanna concentrate on your booty, you can do that. This will continue to be updated as she releases new videos, as she releases new recipes. And now we have arrived to my favorite part of the app my plan. This is the part that organizes your life for the rest of the week. It breaks it up into your meal plan, your workout plan, and also a shopping list, which is a godsend. So I decided to pick and choose what recipes stood out to me or I was just curious about, ones that I was most keen to try. But then when it came to sorting out my workout plan, I decided just to copy Pamela's. And I really like that that's an option in case you're in a rush or just have no idea where to start. So something I'm new to is clean cooking clean eating. I knew when I looked at these recipes that I was gonna have to do one hell of a food shop. I had to buy way more fresh food than I'm used to. I definitely had to go to a bigger supermarket to find some of the bits. Creating your own shopping list is super easy. There is literally a button on each recipe that says add ingredients to shopping list. You just hit that and it'll automatically update your shopping list for you. Now, like I have clearly expressed, I am obviously super happy with the shopping list option. However, if I were to slightly criticize it, it would be really nice if the shopping list kind of automatically arranged itself into sections so you had like fruit and veg together just to make it a bit easier whilst you're shopping But of course you can kind of sort that out yourself Another thought I had that would just make the shopping list a tiny bit easier to work with would be if it actually had the specific quantities of how much you need of that ingredient. When I was doing my food shop, I was checking my shopping list. However, I was having to go back and find the recipes to check to see like how many peppers I needed, how many grams of etc, etc. That's just something small, tiny thing. Monday came and so it begins. I started off my week on Monday with just following her workout plan. And yes, I was exhausted by the end. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, so as soon as I saw this was one of the recipes, chocolate porridge, I was like, yes, let's try it. Every time I try to make chocolate porridge, it never comes out like chocolatey enough almost. I think it's because I've been using like hot chocolate powder, which definitely doesn't really work. For this, I used cacao powder with cacao nibs and it was so delicious. Super easy to make, super healthy and super yummy. Okay, let's try this. I'm not just saying this, but it is the best porridge I think I've ever, ever had. This will definitely become a go-to breakfast of mine, easily. Another recipe I was really intrigued by was I noticed she had a lot of like little energy balls. I like that these are so easy to make and you can just snack on them throughout the week, which is what I did. So I was worried that my blender didn't do a good enough job of actually breaking up all the individual ingredients but the wee balls are actually coming out okay so hopefully it'll be good. And then I'm going to roll them through some coconut flakes. You can kind of plan ahead when you're going to make these because the app gives you sort of an approx time of how long it takes to make, whether it's easy or not and I did find that it was pretty accurate. I really liked how you could adjust the portion sizes super easily. You literally just hit the plus button. And um, for me, majority of the time I was making food for Will and I. So I hate when you're working to a recipe and you have to like duplicate everything in your head or whatever. So that was a nice feature. One thing I will say though, is when you go into the cooking mode, the let's cook mode, and say you wanna come out of it because you wanna take a look at like the picture and how it should look, which is something I did quite a few times. It automatically resets the portions to one for one person and I go back into the cooking mode and sometimes not realize that the measurements were all off. Another thing I think would be really cool to see is in the cooking mode, I know this would be such a task and I understand like obviously why they haven't done this, but it'd be really nice to see like how each stage should look if there was like a little photo just to give you a bit of guidance. I did find the steps and everything were really clear and everything I made, I actually didn't muck anything up which is really surprising for me, but there were points with some recipes where it would have been nice to have a photo as a point of clarification, basically. Taste test, it looks super creamy. Oh my goodness. Mm, that is so, so creamy. And there's no cream in it, there's no cheese. I like that I know exactly what's in it. There's no like pre-made pasta sauce. Everything in it is good for you. Tell let me know what you think. <laughs> It is Tuesday. So because I didn't have any equipment, it meant I had to adjust my workout plan for the whole week, but that is completely my bad for not looking ahead. It just meant I couldn't copy Pamela's. The automatic measuring system within the app was in grams. You can change that in your account bar. So if you prefer the imperial system, if you prefer measuring in cups, etc., then it's great that you have the option. But for me, I love grams. I love weighing stuff out that way. Mm. You also apparently can store these in the fridge for like two to three days. So a lot of these recipes, I never would have thought to make myself. That's why I was so intrigued to try them. For example, this lettuce wrap. I wasn't sure if this would actually be nice or not. And I realized Pamela likes making recipes that have an alternative to bread in them. Okay, this actually looks like a really healthy, easy little snack. So yeah, that was super yummy, quick and easy. And here's another example of a recipe where you'd normally have bread, but instead she has replaced it with sweet potato. And okay, spoiler alert, this was freaking amazing. I will definitely be making it again. I also used fresh basil on top of this. I've never really been one to use fresh herbs, but this week has taught me that they make a huge difference. I never would have put sweet potato and avocado together. I can confirm. Now these flavors go. Wednesday was actually Will's birthday, so I guess I cheated a bit. I didn't work out. I didn't have any healthy meals. Everything we ate was basically just takeout. I did, however, make one thing and it was like a sweet treat. So I made some cookie dough bites. These were really quick and easy to do. It kind of tasted like Reese's Pieces because of the peanut butter.
Okay, Thursday's here. We're getting through the week, even though I just basically had a day off. But anyway, I saw her sharing tons of people on Instagram were making these pink oats. And I mean, you can see from the photo, they look very pretty. So I wanted to give them a go. This was something I had to prepare it the night before. I am excited to see how these have come out. Pink oats. Mm. On this day, I definitely didn't feel like working all that much. So I just went for slower warm ups and like more yoga based workouts. That's a nice thing that is really easy to adjust your plan and edit it. So if you want to do that throughout the week. I think this might have been one of my favorite recipes. And again, I just wanted to try it out of being curious because I don't think I've ever had like stuffed peppers before and I've not had quinoa in I can't even remember when the last time was I had quinoa but you have to try this recipe it did take me a bit of time but that's something I was just thinking about definitely throughout the week was that if I realistically wanted to keep up this meal plan then I think I would have to do a lot of meal prep rather than cooking in the middle of the day like a couple times a day So good. Whilst I wait for my little peppers to heat up, I'm gonna grab cookie dough bites. I've just been keeping it in my fridge. Cheers. Good, huh? Friday has arrived. Yes, I'm only doing Monday to Friday because I wanted to get this video out quickly for you all. So this morning I made this raspberry chia pudding. Okay, it's been about three hours just because I forgot to do this last night. So I did it at like half six this morning. Now it's time to just put it all together. to make our towers. I have definitely learned this week that healthy cooking just needs to move up on my priority list. I need to make time for it. I cannot stress that even from doing this for a few days, I just felt cleaner inside. I felt healthier, happier. Even though there's obviously no physical difference, I did not go into this to look like Pamela, but just to feel better. And also to educate myself to learn more about healthy cooking. And I definitely feel I have achieved that. A lot of the recipes I loved so much that I definitely want to remake them. I definitely stand by what she says about your body deserves it. Wait, I am not very excited. All the flavors in there. Ooh, um. Do I think it's worth it? Will I carry on with my subscription? Short answer, yes. I have such little criticism for this app considering it is brand new as well. I found like no glitches. I think I found one typo in a recipe, don't even remember. Pamela has done an amazing job. There genuinely wasn't a recipe that I didn't like, which makes me so excited to try out more of them. The cost per month is the same as a coffee. I know some people argue why pay for an app with recipes on it when the internet has thousands upon thousands of free recipes. You are paying for that convenience. To have everything you need there is so accessible. You're not scrolling through ads or those massive blog posts So guys, I hope you go check out the app yourself I do really really recommend it and that is pretty much all for today's video like comment engage with this video It just helps us creators out a lot if you want to see more content like this as well Let me know I've definitely not really done all that many like food fitness videos on my channel I know challenges like this
this sometimes can be a bit of a sensitive topic and kind of a trigger for some people and so that's why I definitely didn't want to come on here and focus on like how many inches I lost around my waist but it's just about fueling my body with good food and is also yummy it's not just like chicken rice and veggies every night so Pamela you've absolutely nailed it thank you guys so much for watching I love you I love you all stay safe be kind and I'll see you in the next one bye